So we've joined Joanne here on the Royal Robin stand to talk, well, about socks, hemp and um, yak fibres, is that right? But, but also a little bit about Royal Robin's the brand, because okay. it's, it's, it's a brand that's probably well known to people, but maybe they don't know the sort of history behind it. Mm -hmm. Much, so. so Royal and Liz started the brand about 50 years ago, or yeah. 51 years ago, I should say. Um, Royal was a clean climber in Yosemite, yeah. so our heritage is um, in our backyard because we're based in San Francisco. Okay. Um, Royal was a clean climber in that he really wanted to protect the environment that he lived in and wanted mm -hmm. to protect it for the future. And so clean climbing, where you tie the knots into the, or twist the knots into those cracks versus damaging that rock face. Yeah, sure. And so from a sustainability perspective, he started it in the 60s, and then as he started his apparel brand, he then wanted to continue that through with his apparel brand. Right. Um, so we've always been known for an apparel brand, as an apparel brand, as mm -hmm. men's and women's. And then for Spring 20, we started with socks. Right, okay. Um, so we're launching socks for Spring 20. Um, they are a blend mm -hmm. of um, hemp, with recycled polyester, right, and then it has yak in it too. So this okay. is a blend that we work really closely with our mill. Yeah. So we have a mill because in apparel we also do hemp um, product in both knits and in wovens. Oh, okay. So you've got experience of we the fibre. Yes, yeah. and we work really closely with our mill. Mm -hmm. um, and so we develop the yarn that we have. Um, it is over 50% hemp. So it's 51% hemp oh, because we okay. believe that having more hemp in it, obviously those properties that hemp can, carries, like um, the antibacterial, the odor yeah. resistant, the yeah. durability, okay. um, and the thermoregulation are key to having a great sock. Mm -hmm. And having this much hemp in it is only going to benefit you with the sock. But you can't have 100% hemp. Right. Why, why not? Well, as most people know, it's very rough. And okay. it doesn't yeah. have a soft hand feel. Yeah. Um, and so we were playing around with different yarns and mm -hmm. we've twisted ours with a recycled poly that helps obviously with the wicking and the thermoregulation. Okay. And then hemp naturally has that rough hand feel, so mm. we've added a touch of yak. And the adding the touch of yak really helps with that softness. You right, don't well. need a lot of it. Mm -hmm. um, yak has been known in Mongolia, they use it for a lot of different um, things, including yeah. their blankets, clothing. Right. Depending on where that hair comes from on the animal, you can mm. use it for different end uses. Okay. Um, with us, we use a very soft, um, short staple fiber that really gives you that soft hand feel right. in um, the blend that we use in our sock. Mm -hmm. When we put the socks together, we played around with testing them. Um, and one of the things, obviously, for us is it needs to be the perfect travel sock. Yeah. And we had one of our guys test it. He wore it for five days straight. Okay. <laughs> um, and I was like, ooh. And I was like, but you know what? They didn't smell after five days. I'm sure his feet smelled. Right. But like, yeah, but the socks didn't. The kind socks of... didn't smell. Yeah, that, wow. at the hemp being at least 50, over 50%. Kills up to 90-95% of the bacteria. Wow, I never knew that. And yeah. so that was key to us having a sock and having a mm. travel sock in the line. Okay. Um, and then the other reason for finding a hemp sock is because there's so many merino socks in the market. Yeah. We wanted to find a niche which made sense for us as a brand mm -hmm. and us as an extension of our apparel line and being with yeah. travel. Um, and so hemp, as we're known for hemp in our apparel, made the most sense and also from all the features that you get with hemp. Right. right, fantastic. Well, we'll look forward to, uh, to trying some of the range at some point. Right, they, they so we do great. have a selection yeah. of different, as you can see here, we do a micro, we do yeah. a quarter. Mm -hmm. This is our crew height. We have a okay. couple of different yeah, styles. Very practical. Um, and then we do a couple of um, calf, over the calf length, which yeah. are, we're testing at this moment in time for compression. Right. Um, cool. As everyone knows with travel, there are so many people that now are wearing the compression socks when they travel yeah. on the plane. Yeah. So we do have a cut off for a couple of silhouettes okay. that we are testing at this moment in time for compression. Not right. medical grade, right. just, yeah. um, just for travel, okay. which will be key. And then our color palette really was driven by the fact that we're using a natural fiber mm -hmm. and selecting a color palette that associates with our apparel line which is very yeah. colorful yeah. and we're known for our color and our pattern but making sure that also sits really nicely with the fact that it's a natural fiber mm -hmm. yeah. and so you can see with the palette and it's a unisex line so the idea behind the palette is that you can wear it both genders can wear it and be okay. comfortable yeah. in all the colors um, granted, we have one that may be more feminine, but I'm sure I, I would happily wear men. a pink sock. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know that lots of men now are wearing all these different color socks. Yeah. And so we wanted to keep it really clean and subtle, but mm -hmm. make sense for travel and an extension of our apparel line. Great stuff. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Great.